Well, welcome back to Active the Outdoors. We just got back from doing a little lion fish hunting today. Three tanks, about eight dives. You guys don't want to miss this episode. There was a lot of lion fish to be had for sure. All right, guys, welcome back to Below the Surface. Today I'm out with High Tide. My buddy Ryan invited me for a nice little lionfish hunt, specifically to hunt lionfish on the pyramids. Who can say no to that? As you can tell, I'm a bit excited for this one. My biggest lionfish to date. He ended up being 16 and a half inches. So Ryan sent me a message, said that they're gonna go hunt lionfish outside of Pensacola but it wasn't gonna be normal diving. This is gonna be drop and pops. I've done it once before, but never to the extent that we did it this day. It was pretty intense diving. So the concept behind it is you got two teams of two. One's gonna drop down on a pyramid, shoot as many lionfish as they can, and then come right back up. So you're going down about 100 feet, spending a couple minutes down, coming back up, doing your safety stop, getting on the boat, go to the next pyramid and the team next team drops down and they uh, do the same thing rinse and repeat you end up getting about 45 minutes of sit or surface interval time which just gives us a chance to off gas some of our residual nitrogen and then we go right back down and do it again As you can see, my spearing abilities has improved tremendously since my first video that I made. Look at this zookeeper, filming it up. I was actually surprised to find this many lionfish after the uh, Emerald Coast Open that just set a record 25,000 lionfish taken off of these reefs. I was expecting not to find a whole lot of really much of anything out there, but I guess we didn't even really make a dent. Sneak in here. See if I left any behind. Nope. A little excited. Check me out. I ended up taking 59 lionfish off of these reefs today. Look at them all sitting in there in the corner. If you notice, I keep checking my gauge. Make sure that I'm not going into deco. Make sure that I have enough air to get back up and do my safety stop. And I'm gonna have to leave some of these live fish because I'm getting low on gas. There's this little guy hiding down here in the corner. I'm just gonna stab him. Bring him up and put him in my zookeeper. So with all these lionfish, I flayed quite a few, gave some to some people at work, and the rest of them I donated to my zoo to see if any of the zoo animals would eat them. After taking the spines off, of course, once I get the word back if the animals actually ate them, might be a good place to donate my lionfish to. Go back down. Wait till you see this. This is insane. I'm just gonna be quiet and let you guys enjoy it. Oh. 
What? I didn't even see that guy there. Jeez, that scared the crap out of me. If only my camera was pointing back towards my face. Let's look at that in slow motion. And that guy really sounded like that. That was his noise. His little thumps or drums as he swam away. I'm pretty sure I pooped in my wetsuit. Those Goliath grouper are pretty awesome to see when I'm diving. And then there's guys that just sit in the sand and make it really easy. And it's nice too because it gives your spear a nice little backstop to kind of dig into. Got him. While you're watching this lionfish massacre, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you like this stuff. Let me know where you guys are finding lionfish. Where you're from. I know that these guys are native to the Indo-Pacific and the Indian Ocean. So I know you guys don't hunt them over there. But all the other places where they're invasive, let me know where you guys are seeing them. Who knows? I might just have to take a trip and go spear these guys around the world. So these artificial reefs, they're called pyramids. These ones that we're dropping on are in sets of three. So you have one giant pyramid and two smaller pyramids off to the side. And they're kind of in a perfect line. So when you're out finding them and you just keep kind of staying on that bearing, you'll find a bunch more. They hold a lot of fish, not just lionfish. I don't know if you've seen, but there's some red snapper and some AJ's, sheep's head, trigger fish, gag groupers, goliath groupers. I saw a few octopus on this trip too, which were pretty cool to see. I was playing with one earlier. Just let him grab onto my spear and he tried to pull it in. But if you guys notice any other fish, leave a timestamp and a comment on what fish you saw. There's another guy that I was with that brought an actual spear gun. So he was doing more spearing than he was lionfish hunting, which kind of worked out for me because it left more lionfish for me. And he ended up getting a couple Amoco jacks, so that's cool. And you can see he just got himself a little slipper lobster down there. Almost got him. Yep, got him. I know all this, uh, Looks like one to two dives, but it was actually a total of eight dives altogether. I just took out all the non-action stuff. So eight trips to the bottom, eight trips back to the top. Probably the most intense diving that I've ever done. I definitely learned a ton. And really pushed my diving abilities. Some of the big takeaways that I learned specifically is gas management. Not getting too focused on finding the lionfish and really keeping an eye on your gas. At 103 feet, it goes pretty quick. And decompression limits, they kind of sneak up on you if you're not really paying attention. And nobody wants to be 100 feet down, running low on gas and realizing that you have decompression obligations. That would not be a good time. So if you go diving and you do stuff like this, watch your gas, watch your NDL time, and make it back up so you can go back down to find some more lionfish.
You can hear my Sunto yelling at me. I have it set to warn me when my tank pressure is at 1100 PSI. It's a nice audible warning, just in case I get too focused on lionfish and I'm not paying attention to my gas management. I got enough time to get a couple more. Feels like this all day, non-stop. I think our first drop was the only one that we didn't find lionfish on. A couple drops where they were loaded, and a couple drops where they were still pretty decent. On this site, all three of the pyramids were over on their side. We talked about it when I got back to the top of the boat. What we're thinking happened is one of the Coast Guard cutters came through and ended up pulling these things down as they were dragging the bottom. That's just a guess. But you could tell one of them's really tore up, so something definitely got a hold of it. This guy was pissing me off. I speared him like three times and he kept coming off my spear. Not one to give up. I got him. Alright everybody, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm going up and until next time, it's been a great dive.